Hi, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Eastern Western Cookery and today we're going to talk about knife. Knife is metal, made of metal which is I'm pretty sure that most of the kitchen uh, should have it and it's one of the most important tools should be in the kitchen and let's bear in mind that knife has been uh, created, invented by human beings since million, a thousand million years ago uh, when people uh, try to manipulate to manipulate started to manipulate stone something uh, sharp to cut trees to cut food into small pieces so easy for them to, to eat so it evolved until nowadays uh, there are three types of knife that uh, has been used uh, commercially and also individually uh, the first one is carbon steel if you can see here the, uh, what I'm referring right now is from Grey Whistler, a uh, professional bookie. You can always refer this book. It's my favorite book, uh, which is very informative and uh, it uh, is so relevant to the Eastern and Western Korean in terms of technical and all the knowledge that you should, uh, should know about before you get into the operation. So, carbon steel was uh, is, carbon steel is one of the type of uh, of a knife that uh, people use uh, which is that uh, it can be honed into extremely sharp edge and please bear in mind your knife should be very sharp if not it is very hazardous to you because you can always get cut easily yeah so uh, the pe people think that a sharp knife is dangerous but it is not blunt knife is much more dangerous than sharp knife all right so it's advantageous if you can see it corrodes and this color easily if compared to others. And the next one is traditional stainless steel alloys, which will not rust and corrode, but they are much more harder, sharpen, uh, harder to sharpen. Yeah, you need a little. Bit, they need more uh, effort to sharpen it, uh, and mostly it's for low cost. It's a lightweight knife. The third one is high carbon stainless steel, which is relatively a new alloy, which is combined the best aspect of a carbon steel and a stainless steel. So here it comes the high carbon stainless steel, which is uh, is relatively expensive, uh, and but that is very uh, I mean it because it's that it has the best aspects of these two. That combine to one, so that is the reason why it's expensive. But again, whatever types of uh, what knife that you are prefer, you need to make sure that the sharp, the knife should should be sharp enough uh, to for you to use. All right. Now let's take a look. Before we go into uh, types of knife, let's take a look on the knife parts. All right. As you can see here, I'm going to zoom. In it a little bit all right so this is part of a chef knife which is one of the type of knife that mostly use the first one is the tip yeah the tip uh, is something that really sharp I mean and then this is a spine the cutting edge and this is the heel all right and then the tan metal blade inside the handle all right some some, uh, but most of the knife that I mean that comply with the sanitation and safety should be everything uh, should be in metal blade yeah uh, and then the rivets and this is the handle the handle should be in uh, stainless steel or in metal form is for safety and sanitation issues so you have uh, you already know now about the parts of a chef knife so let's take a look of the knife and the user so this is a fresh knife, a chef knife. Uh, we most frequent use knife in uh, in the kitchen. It can be used for general purpose, slicing, mincing, dicing, whatever you want. Uh, with this is appropriate to use this. And uh, sotoku knife is Jap also known as a Japanese cook knife. Uh, it's a white bladed. It looks like the chef knife, but it has a white bladed. And it becomes, uh, you can see, it become increasing popular about chef. Uh, and this is a utility knife, okay? 
uh, is a bit narrow uh, if you compare with chef knife and usually most for pantry work yeah for cutting preparing the vegetables cabbages lettuce fruits and so on so it is also appropriate to it can be can be used to uh, carve to carve roasted chicken uh, duck and some sort like that and now let's take a look on this knife this is the pairing knife uh, the pairing knife usually most of the chef will put uh, will have that kind of, I mean, always have to gather in the pockets, yeah, in the pockets, yeah, because very knife is something that it's a small pointed blade, and usually we use it to trim and pair vegetable and fruits, which is, you need to have it, so it's very accessible during the operation. What, because of its size, actually. The body knife is something, a very thin pointed blade, you can see here, it's pointed blade, uh, is used to bone, uh, raw beets and poultry all right uh, if you have that kind of stiff blades uh, that one is purposely for heavier work uh, on if you want to uh, to use it all right uh, but the flexible blades is mainly purpose for filleting that will be most uh, useful to use but and the next one is the slicer is a long you can see it's a long slender and flexible uh, used for carving and slicing cook meats all right now let's take a look the next one is serrated <coughs> all right serrated uh, slicer uh, which is uh, if you can see here is is it has a serrated edge all right mainly purpose for to cut bread cakes, croissant, and something like that, yeah? And then a butcher knife, so if you look at this, the butcher knife, okay, this is a butcher knife, it has some sort of a broad, slightly curved back to the up, it's slightly curved to the up, uh, used for cutting, sectioning, fab for fabric, to fabricate your meat in a butcher shop. Uh, Schmitter, uh, steak knife is curved, yeah, pointed blade, use uh, to cutting the steaks all right now let's take a look cleaver the cleaver i think in malaysia most of the kitchen we do have this cleaver especially in chinese uh, restaurant it's a heavy broad uh, blade all right it's used for cutting bones because uh, it's big and uh, which is even lighter but that is very it's bad to to use for to cut bones all right now let's take a look on, uh, you can see here the Chinese cook knife. It has the similarities and main, uh, but uh, but you don't have to confuse, okay? Because it is lighter in weight of compact with Chinese cook knife. So oyster knife, you can here, see here in short, a rigid blunt knife with dull edge and purposely for mainly for opening the oysters. Uh, but then you have to look at the clamp knife. The clamp knife, it looks like this one. Okay, it have, it looks like the same, but it has a, a short, but with a slight edge. If you compare with oyster knife, it put mainly, put mainly purpose for opening clamps. And uh, the next one is vegetable peeler. Yeah, uh, it, it is it is it is something uh, a must a, a must knife that should have in the kitchen. Yeah, it's a, it, can, it, it comes for, with many different forms, but mostly, it, but again, in the end, it's used for peel, peel, peeling, for peeling vegetables and fruits. Alright, the steel is not knife, but it's part of the thing that should together with the knife, because it is not to sharpen the knife, but it's meant to to use as uh, to maintain the sharp uh, the sharpness of the knife all right uh, so you can always use it to maintain the sharpness and remember again that the most safe uh, knife to use is the sharpened knife all right and the last but not least is cutting board of course cutting board uh, even though hardwood boards are favored by many chef but again uh, hard rubber plastic boards are more sanitary, uh, so please uh, 
hopefully that if you guys are yeah, in the commercial operation that serve people in a mass production, uh, cutting board should be everything in rubber plastic boards uh, in order for you to make to take care of your food safety. So I hope you guys uh, get something. Uh, but if you want to know to read more about it, you can always refer to Gary Whistler, Professional Cookie. Uh, and thank you so much for your attention.